Holy fucking shit, folks. Did you hear the news? Steve Ballmer, the CEO of Microsoft, has announced to the world that he is going to retire and resign within the next 12 months. Holy shit, who saw this coming? Now, I am not going to speculate as to why he is going to resign. And by not speculate, I mean I totally am going to speculate. First of all, he fucking blows. Let's take a look at Windows Phone. The platform has very nice software, but it's lacking one thing. The one thing that really matters when it comes to a platform for mobile devices, and that is Developers, developers, developers. Developers, developers, developers. Developers, developers, developers. First developers, developers, developers. Developers, developers, developers. Developers, 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 developers. You get the idea. Seriously now, that new Lumia phone, the Nokia Lumia 1020, it's an amazing piece of hardware. I love that camera. I would love to have that camera. In fact, it's better than the camera I'm using right now in some ways, but without the software to make my amazing photos look like shit, i.e. Instagram, there is no reason for this platform to exist. What? Let's also talk about Windows 8. Great, when it launched, there was so much criticism because there was no start menu at boot up. People have to make custom applications to launch it at boot. And now, guess what? Windows 8.1, with its release, will have the old start menu at boot up available. Jeez, they pissed off people and now they're turning their backs on the future UI that they so promoted. Makes me wonder, do they even have any idea what the hell they're doing? I'm guessing no. Lastly, Xbox One. They really screwed up big time with the original DRM policy, which allows the developers, <laughs> game makers, can do whatever they want with in terms of DRM with always on functionality. That had huge backlash. It was actually very much similar to Sony's approach to DRM. But because they sucked at PR, who's going to trust Microsoft now? Personally, I think Microsoft right now is in a shitstorm. They just can't figure out what their direction is. So I'm going to nominate somebody to replace Steve Ballmer. And I nominate Scott Forrestal. Holy shit! The guy from Apple? Well... There's very good reason why I would nominate this guy for the job. He's a big software guy. Microsoft is also a big software company. This guy has worked extensively with user interface and user experience. Something Microsoft really needs in a new direction because the so-called unified experience or UI of all those Windows devices they're not really that unified at all. They might have a Windows kernel in all their OS's, but is it really a unified experience? Is it really Windows on that phone or just some cheap port over? Is Windows RT really Windows or is it just some scaled down piece of shit? Personally, I think that if Windows across every platform Windows 8, Windows RT, and Windows Phone were to be united into a single OS. I don't know how they'd do that, but if they can pull it off, they would have a winner on their hands. Personally, I think Scott Forrestal, with his management style, his attention to detail, and his experience on focusing on user interface and user experience, I think he can pull it off. But that's just me. What do you guys think? If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.